Hello everybody, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more RimWorld ideology with our Wandering Nomads series. We've set up a new base at the base of a mountain over here, and I think I plan on staying here for at least a little bit. There's a handful of projects that we have not really been able to fill so far. I would definitely like to try getting some sort of research done, maybe to get some solar panels or other power options, since so far... Windmills are constantly getting blocked and are really irritating to deal with. In the last video, we also did recruit Natasha as a new, well, slave. So that's going to be good for us. Somebody else who can cut plants and who can mine. I like that. So we assign these jobs off to the slaves and let Habsburg do, oh, I don't know, most of the construction jobs and all these other things. It takes a lot of pressure off of Habsburg since he's pretty much been our only farmer as well as our only builder up to this point. Way too much pressure. Beyond that, what we're going to be doing is trying to leave this area and start heading toward the friendly AI. I mean, we'll have a lot of adventures along the way. And I'd like to actually get some clothes to make sure we can survive the desert. But beyond that, yeah, long trip to get all the way up here to the friendly AI. We need all the food, we need all the clothes, and yeah, we need a heck of a lot of guns. Looks like we were able to convert somebody over here. Okay, fantastic. So, Cannon did his thing, and Becero over here is now of our religion, which means we need to figure out what to do with you. What was your skills again? Uh, you had some melee skill, and some cooking, and some crafting. Perfect. Jealous brawler. I think we are going to try to recruit you, and you don't have a whole lot of resistance, so this shouldn't even take that long. I am going to go ahead and apply our two tech prints for the combat, uh, sorry, compact weaponry, there we go, as well as the skin hardening. I don't really anticipate that we'll get to research these, but it's one less thing we have to be carrying around, so it technically speeds up my uh, caravans a little bit. Prison camp opportunity, a masterwork light machine gun, oof. That does sound like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Um, it's not far away from here. If it's worth a masterwork gun, it's probably a tough prison. I don't know. We could take a look at it, but I'm not feeling very hopeful. It's also time for our time of boasts. Once again, everyone gets together. The speech is over, and now there's a party beginning. Okay. I haven't seen any notification that this is going poorly. Gonna assume that this time people are making some really good boasts. No, it was boring. Come on, I had a 52% chance of something good. Gosh dang you people. Oh, and it looks like Cannon also converted Stumpy. Good lord. All right, making good progress on this for once. What were you good at again? All right, you would make a fantastic slave. All right, well, then we are going to be trying to enslave you. Your will exists, but it's relatively minor, so it shouldn't be that hard for me to do. Now, here's a trader that I actually kind of like. They have some stuff that I would really like to get, including a psychic insanity lance, which doesn't simply break someone and make them fall to the ground, but instead drives them into a berserk state so that they will fight their uh, compatriots. That could be helpful. Not to mention some psychic foil helmets. This is something I don't think you can make on your own. But when you have them, every once in a while when those psychic drones come through, you'll be happy you have this. Plus, I'm going to trade out one of my normal flak jackets for an excellent quality one, just so we'll be a little bit stronger. All right, all this seems acceptable. So we finally spend some silver. Oop, it looks like Stumpy has successfully been enslaved. Okay, so now that we have you on site, we're going to have to rename you, of course. And the winner of today's poll is none other than Agent Whisper. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to call you Whisper because I think that's a little bit better. Good name, actually. Really cool. All right, so you have unbelievably good talent with animals. Not to mention you're great with plants. You can do a bit of backup cooking, some mining, and some construction work. All of that is just fantastic for me. So animals and handling, absolute number one priority. Following that, we'll say probably plants and then construction, then hauling, then mining, and cooking, and so on. Fishing's also an option, actually, with this really good um, animal skill. If we had some water nearby, we could definitely use you for that job. That wouldn't be half bad. Wait, why is fishing necessarily an, an animal-related skill? That's a really interesting change. All right, well, that's from a mod, so, you know, it is what it is there. Uh, let's see, we can go ahead and move this bed over into the slave pen. Although, honestly, we might just move everyone over here once I recruit Becero. We'll see. Uh, Whisper, sorry, no, you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not allowed to wear any of the stuff you're grabbing right now. You have to wear slave stuff only. And if that makes you a nudist, then so be it. Solar panel research is done. Okay, so what that means is I think it's time for Tigera to try to do some artwork. Not that she's good at it, like, literally at all. 
but I do have a bit of spare jade sitting around. We could also make some gold sculptures, and even if they're of poor value, I'm fairly confident they're going to have a really good beauty value. We're shooting for the highest possible beauty value. Do that, and we'll be in good shape. Whisper, my slave, is going on a food binge. Oh, someone's going to break into the stash of packaged survival meals. Darn it. Okay, our first jade sculpture is coming out. You are carrying a... Yeah, it's poor. That's not really surprising. We kind of expected it to be a terrible piece of art. Its beauty is still 130, though. Not as good as an excellent marble sculpture, but considering it's poor, I mean, that's still pretty good. Title 9x15 by a muffalo? Sorry? Let's see, a muffalo staggering through a field and shivering uncontrollably, a twisted orange boulders surround the scene, a gunslinger waits in the distance. Uh, okay. <laughs> the plague for the poor muffalo? Man, that's definitely something worth memorializing. All right, yeah, good. Thank you, Tigera. That's just... That's amazing. We're not going to get much better than that, to be honest. It's going to be terrible statues like those, but whatever. I'll take what I can get, dang it. I gotta say, the colony is kind of starting to run a bit more like a well-oiled machine. I mean, having these four slaves dedicated consistently to some of the labor jobs, while everyone else actually kind of either laces around or hunts or researches or something, is kind of working for me. And these guys actually have a pretty decent mood going for them as well. Like. This is going shockingly well. Let's see. Soul Border has pursued Tigera and she has taken on a third lover. Oh my god, Tigera. <laughs> I mean, it helps to be like one of the only females in the entire group, right? But yeah. I don't know. Maybe Natasha and Whisper will get some action in there. It seems like everyone loves Tigera, though, which makes sense. I mean, Tigera is the beautiful one with the aesthetic nose. So, <laughs> who can possibly resist? Whoop, Funda Kermit tried to convolt Soul Border, and that led to a fight. Wait, what, uh, what religion do you follow again? Ancient Fertilism. Fundek, you horrible monster. But Soul Border, who is a proper wanderer, resisted the urge. Brilliant! All right, Soul Border, I'm proud of you. You get a Kit Kat bar or something. Fundek, very disappointed in you. I think we have to try to convert you using the power of the cannon fodder. Go forth. All right, so he reduced his certainty by oh, about 31%. That's pretty good. Oh, Tigera, you made an awful jade sculpture, which is so bad it's actually hideous. Great job. All right, well, definitely not installing that one. Man, what a waste of jade. I mean, it's fine. I've got jade to spare, but come on. I think we're about to see someone recruit. Yes! All right, Becero now serves me! Beautiful, okay, so you've joined. Can you please be separated from the slaves? You really don't belong over there. Anyway, all right, that's fine. So, what are you good at again? You're only good at punching, right? No, you're good at cooking and crafting. Okay, these are the two things I want you to do then. So, your primary job, besides the basics that everyone has to do, except for hauling, you don't have to worry about that too much, you are a cook, and you are a crafter, slash tailor, smith, whatever. That's that's it. Don't even bot. Well, actually, you're not even a bad backup researcher, to be honest. You're almost as good as Tigera is. All right, so that's a good option. The rest of that, don't worry about it, and I don't want you to handle anything. All right, so this is going to be your thing. So, um, yeah, now one thing we could do with Becero, I think we should probably turn you into a Smashmonger. We haven't got a melee specialist up to this point. Now you're going to refuse... Oh, but you lose all these jobs, including crafting? All right, forget it. No rolls necessary. I, I, I still have use for you to do other things like... Yeah, forget that. Go ahead and arm yourself. You'll be a Smashmonger, but not not an actual title. For some reason, this map is just crawling with Muffalo. I think this is like the third group of Muffalo I've seen coming through. I'm taming a bunch of them. If you haven't noticed, we have an unbelievable number of animals. I'm trying to grow hay grass just so I have some stuff to take along with them if we need to, but yeah, proving to be a little bit fun. Can I drag you over? No. All right. So you're just kind of always going to be stuck in this really weird spot. That's fine. No, that's fine. Um, We don't have any helmets or anything, really? Okay, I guess for some reason the flak jests and stuff are considered to be the best armor you can get, even though I have some actual trooper armor over here. And Cannon is successfully taming more muffalo. That's great. Worse come to worse, if I feel like it's too many muffalo and I want to harvest them, I can totally do things like that. Like, who's worried? In the meantime, we're up to, I think, 79 packaged survival meals. I need a heck of a lot more. Fun Deck is grabbing a lot, but he's slow. Fun Deck, you know, something I could do 
Um, since you are constantly having to run around and do stuff, we, we, we could actually go ahead and install the architect leg. It's dangerous to do that only because the faster a slave is able to move, the more likely they are to rebel. And slave rebellions are not fun. So I'm, I'm not really eager to give him my architect leg and make him super fast. But we technically could if we wanted to. A shuttle crash. Ooh, what's coming over here? Hello, people. What's up? Ooh, wow. Uh, some combat skill, as well as some construction mining, a careful shooter, a groundbreaker, and an animal hater. Hmm. Well, you're not bad. A crash baby and then a hunter. Yeah, yeah, I could see capturing you. What about you? Medical, artistic, ooh, somebody who's actually, um, passionate about art with a little bit more skill than what we have. Yeah, you're not that great. Um, you, on the other hand, I think we probably go capture you. So we're gonna go do that. Cannot capture, oh, yeah, I did, I did just kind of take down these walls thinking, oh, it's not going to be a problem anymore. We just recruited everybody. I regret that decision. It is time to rebuild these walls. And what's this? A man-hunting pack of raccoon. Oh my god! That is a lot of raccoons. That is a lot of raccoon. Holy frick, that's a lot of raccoons. Right. Um, okay. New problem slash new plan needed. Uh, I doubt these pens will keep them out, which means we now need to lock everyone in the caves and or in the buildings. One thing that could help with this will be to simply mine some little tunnels between the things so that people can go places. Um, because otherwise we're gonna get trapped and I need to create some allowed zones and prevent people from going anywhere else. Everyone is restricted in area one. It's the only place you guys are allowed to go now. Hide inside and close the dang doors on your way. Holy crud. These things aren't gonna try to, like, kill my, you know, muffalo and stuff, are they? I mean, they're man-hunters. That's, that's how it's supposed to work, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, let's keep an eye on this. Make sure no one does anything really stupid, and we're gonna have to hope these guys go away. Look at him do something stupid right now. He thinks that he's allowed to go through this way, but he's not. No. No. Knock it off. You too. No. You guys have to wait until this stuff is dealt with. Something I'm noticing with Fun Deck, he keeps going on binges. And apparently his opinion of Tigera is pretty darn low. Wait a minute, I guess I guess Fun Deck might be Tigera's fourth lover. Yeah, okay, so Fun Deck does not appreciate that Tigera is sleeping with three other men. Because he's of the wrong religion. I mean, if you would just convert, this would solve so many problems. He's mentally broken, so I'm not able to make him... Okay, if we can just convert you to the Creed of the Wanderer, you'll be so much happier. Whoa, something blew up. Oh boy, all right, big fire over here. Uh, I think we're okay. Amazingly, besides the fact that Tigera was standing right next to an explosion, she's completely okay. Don't know how the heck that happened. Kruka over here actually, by the way, embraced our religion surprisingly fast. So he's got the Creed of the Wanderer, now I'm gonna try to recruit. Resistance is a little on the high side, but, you know, we do have Habsburg. With a word of trust, we can make him fall for us. Go forth, Habsburg. Use your psychic powers! I can't tell if it did anything! It might have- Oh yeah, resistance is extremely low. Well done, Habsburg! Yeah! Dragon, why are you playing Warden? Your social skill is non-existent. Dragon, no, 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 no. You, you, get out of here. Let Cannon do all the talking. I just realized we never actually renamed Becerra over here. Hang on, let's fix that real quick. Your name is gonna be... Mr. Jism. There we go, much better. Her title is Stew Keeper. Mm, well, the name's a little confusing, but don't, don't dwell on it too much, it's fine. And there we go, we have our recruit. Okay, believe it or not, uh, Mr. Chusum actually won two uh, random polls uh, in a row, which is hilarious. All right, so the actual new winner of this is going to be none other than Lex, who we recall from uh, a couple of different series. So there we go, Lex is gonna be joining, but Lex is gonna be a proper citizen and have access to guns and everything. Also a backup constructor and miner. Not good at much beyond that, unfortunately, but that's okay. That's okay, I don't mind. Lex, you gotta get to do all this. Hang on. So, if you're gonna be doing some shooting and stuff, 
You will be fine as a hunter, I guess. And then we'll have you as constructor primarily, then some hunting. And that's kind of it, honestly. Some mining to follow, not much else. I like that one of Lex's immediate jobs is to go and get herself a scarf and a freaking baseball cap. Weird. All right, so we have toxic fallout, which basically means everyone wants to get inside before we die, which basically means now is the time to abandon ship. So let's go ahead and uninstall pretty much everything. Um, this is going to suck for a little bit, and we weren't quite able to finish our research into mending, but that's gonna have to be good enough. Here's hoping we can actually get out of this before the toxic fallout kills everybody. Oh goody, we actually did finish researching mending just in time. One of the reasons I wanted to do that is so we can build up a mending workbench and repair things, especially some of our better armor and weapons. You know, rather than, uh, have to replace them all the time, which is something we could do, I suppose. I've mostly restricted people to being indoors for right now. Let's get everything uninstalled. And then we have to set up a caravan and pray that people can do it quickly. Hopefully, uh, packing up all the animals inside of the caravan, uh, sorry, the cave itself. So our animals aren't gonna die of toxic shock. Okay, un everything is uninstalled. Now is the time to abandon the base. We have to form the largest freaking caravan ever. Uh, looks like the prison may be gone, by the way. I think that quest did expire. Could go to a mining camp and stuff. Honestly, don't think I care. I'd rather just go ahead and start traveling the highway and making my way across the desert. So for now, we'll have to do this. All right, we have a lot of people who are going to come along this time around, and we have... A lot of animals that are going to be coming along this time. Seriously, we loaded up on so many caravan critters. Holy crud. Way too many. Ah! All right, go forth, everybody. Grab every single one of these animals. At least by simply putting them in the caves, we are preventing any more toxic shock. So this should be fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow everyone to go wherever they need to in order to make this work. Um, for once, I would love nothing better than to have a caravan that actually forms quickly and effectively. Shockingly enough, this actually went pretty fast when you have this many people all restricted to a single area, grabbing everything in quick succession. It's not that bad. Oh, we forgot the double wool bed roll. That's eh, fine. It's only normal quality. We can build another one. And we're going to leave behind a calf who apparently was born during the caravan. Can we add you to the caravan, please? I would like to add you to the caravan. Please follow along, little calf. <laughs> Poor thing almost got left behind. It's like, Mama, where are you going, Mama? And that's it. Holy crud. That was an effective freaking caravan. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and abandon this base. Never going back. Time to move on. And we should be able to move really fast along this highway, which is great. Okay, now it says we only have one and a half days of food, which is certainly sort of true. That said, I have a whole load of packaged survival meals, which are currently forbidden. So that's gonna make it seem like we have a lot less food than we actually do. We can... We can go a fair bit longer. Eight bedrolls being used, and some people are getting food poisoning from really bad milk. Ugh. Definitely nice to follow the highway, though. We might be able to get all the way up to these guys, honestly. This is probably where we want to go next. Now, it says we're out of food. Okay. Um, what I want to do is now change permissions. I'm not sure how to do that from here, though, without a camp. We may actually need to set up camp temporarily just so I can change up permissions, or so we can go foraging a bit more, which we actually did just find a little bit. People aren't starving yet, so we got a little time. Moving 52 tiles per day. And that's with calves and stuff. We're going real fast on this highway, ripping along, it's great. Okay, so now, for example, it is saying we've officially run out of food. All right, so let's go ahead and set up a quick camp. Great thing about this is, well, first off, there's a lot of food that we can harvest. So let's go ahead and start doing this as much as we can, gather everything off of this area of the map, and we'll have a chance to change up some permissions. Also, also, if we so desire, look at this. Some dromedaries, which actually would make for fantastic um, pack animals, but I think we'll make do with instead turning them into lunch. New lovers, oh, now what? Lord Dragon also, God. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, that's number five, I think. Gosh, dang, Tigera, holy cram. 
All right, so we're cooking up as many meals as we can. Everyone's going to eat up real fast. This is not going to last for very long, I admit, but I I'll take what I can get before we get back on the road. Okay, there we go. Now we're immediately done and able to pack up and go. This took me, like, no time, no caravan repacking time, which is great. Unfortunately, I was only able to scavenge, like, a quick half a day of food. But if I do this every single day... We definitely can make it all the way, and that's without me even changing any of the permissions, because I forgot to do that again. That's fine, though. That's fine. We technically haven't run out of food. Not yet. We got a little time to work with. Why are we moving so slow all of a sudden? I don't know. Okay. Mr. Jusum has broken up into a sad wander. All right. And now we've officially run out of food. All right, mood is going to be steadily going down, but we're this close to meeting our destination over here. We can finally meet. Another actual village, Turinus, and we're not far from the proper desert. Mm, the thing about the desert is, I don't think there's really much for my animals to eat. So we don't want to stay in the desert. We'll probably have to turn and immediately head back to the arid shrublands where there's actually something where my animals can eat. And we'll have to follow along that before we get back on the highway. This is going to slow things down a bit. And we have arrived. Okay, so let's see if we can trade for anything really cool. Could sell off some slaves. They're not worth an absolute ton. Could get rid of some animals, including some of these calves. I've got seven calves? What? And three there. Wait, no, four. Wait, what? I have so many baby animals. I've got a freaking zoo over here, dude. Dang. Amazing. All right, 137 packaged survival meals left. Human meat. Okay, I think we've already established uh, what kind of people are we are visiting right now. Ha ha ha. Don't really feel like messing with you, though. Let's go ahead and sell off a load of this extra leather. Don't need it. We've got so much muffalo wool, too. Let's get rid of the alpaca wool. I don't think that's going to be as useful. Muffalo, we can use for things. I'll sell off the blue fur, too. Why not? That'll be fine. Um... As far as the rest, let's sell off the drugs. Don't want that. Got some steel. Jade, plasteel, blah, blah, blah. You got any really good stuff here? A pain stopper. Mm, no, what about this, though? A detoxifier stomach? So that people can't get food poisoning. All right. A love enhancer. Ooh. I kind of feel like we have to get this for Tigera because apparently Tigera has a lot of lovers. Also an architect eye. Well, hello. That could be kind of fun to have. It's extremely expensive, though. Very expensive. What is a low shield pack? Single use man portable low shield generator. Oh, interesting. Let's bullets out, but not in. It's like a really good bubble shield? Oh, that's kind of cool. I've never heard of that. A jump pack? A single person burst rocket for short range flight. Ooh. That, that could be nice. Must be recharged after several uses. I'm guessing with fuel. I kind of want a jump pack. I think we're going to get a jump pack. I also wouldn't mind grabbing at least one simple helmet. I think we are short on one of those, given that Lex is wearing a baseball cap. Yeah, that all seems uh, kind of fine as is. I don't suppose you have any, like, proper meals you can sell me. Just nutrient paste? It's not that exciting. But if we buy the nutrient paste, that's another 2.4 days worth of food. We could even buy some chocolate, and that's worth some recreation as well. So I think that's probably going to be worth it. And then there's just a stinking amount, a huge amount of agave fruit, but that's probably too much, to be honest. We'll buy, like, I don't know, 50 or so. And that gets me at least a little bit of extra food. Or does it? No, it gets me a pretty much negligible amount. You know what? I think this is going to be good enough. I think this is a pretty good amount of stuff. We're offloading a lot of stuff that I don't need anymore. We're buying a few nice little enhancements we can give to a few folks, and we're getting some food so we can keep moving. And it did occur to me, actually, we have a whole bunch of hay that I grew in the last biome, so maybe we can trek across the desert as long as we use the highway quickly. It might be fine. It might. All right, well, I think this is a good place for us to end this video. We're going to be heading north next, getting through the desert as fast as we can, following the highway. And from there, I have no idea. Gotta keep going northeast somehow. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.